know who Harrison and Sam are. Hey, why did Harrison go to Yemen for spring break anyway? Who knows? I hope he had more fun than we did. I'm sorry. I couldn't help but overhear spoiled brat classmates. Were your spring break plans a washout? Good. Tell me, just because I like pain, where'd you go for spring break? The person who answers hell makes my day. You guys, I can't take it anymore. We have to tell somebody what we really did. No! Lily, we made a promise. Yeah, a promise based on dishonesty is not one worth keeping. <sighs> guys, Lily's right. You killed someone, didn't you? Like in that movie. The only thing we killed, April, was our social lives and our parents' trust in us. It started out well enough. We were going en masse to MTV's spring break blowout. Um, yeah. If the name's any indication here, kids, I don't feel too good about getting on this plane. Oh, Nick, stop being such a wuss. I'll save $2 a ticket by booking on Plummet. Hey, guys, let's be rational. There's a new website out there for cautious travelers called Crash, Buckle, and Burn. You just type in your airline, your destination, and it'll give you the odds of your plane crashing. Shug, you got your iBook? Yeah, let's check it out. And so we did. Okay, guys, here we go. All the other flights leaving for Cancun this week are sold out. If we fly plummet air, our odds of dying in a gruesome, dismembering crash are about... Odds are one in one. Solomon, please stand by. what'd you do for spring breaks then? Bump teen X's and O's and an all-out orgy? No, you perv. We made a deal. We said... Okay, guys, I have an idea. I say we all just split up and get our spring break on individually. Our parents will all think we're in Cancun, Spain. Anyway, you guys, if no one tells that we blew off the trip, we can have a week of freedom. We can do whatever we want. All close in <clears throat> The A's have it. April, we can trust you, right? You can't tell anyone because then we would get majorly grounded. Guys. Josh, I've been looking for you everywhere. What's wrong? You look like you saw a ghost. It's not a ghost. It's a killer. And he knows what we did last spring break. I have to tell someone. Hey, it was a big scary killer. What? This is serious stuff. There's a psycho killer on the loose. We got to do something about it. May I offer an opinion? You know, state your name and the probable reasons why you would like to kill us. First of all, have any of you ever once said, hey, thank Suspect two. Greetings, spring breakers. My name is... Ooh, what's that sad, misunderstood, red-headed girl? Yo, what is Freak Out doing? What the Freak Out is doing is proving a point. I don't remember my God-given assignation because over the years you, the pretty people, have labeled me with dozens of hideous nicknames, all designed to lower my self-esteem. Well, I did it and you succeeded! That said, why would I want to hurt you? Mwah! And lastly, suspect three. Hi, guys. Listen, you want to label me a sociopath with murderous tendencies? Fine. But for this crime, making me share oxygen with these two losers in a lineup, there's only one solution. When I get out of here, <laughs> I'm gonna make it to every one of you, pay for it! I'm gonna bring it to your knees! Yeah, okay then, that's it. Nick is clearly the killer. I agree. Only someone possessed with that much rage could turn homicidal. Or take that blackmail picture of me on Monday. Take a vote. All those who think Nicole's a killer, raise your hand. <clears throat> Hercule Perot, Agatha Christie, you care to share the detective theory that makes you abstain from locking up this threat to your life? Tell him, Josh. Let's just get it over with. Are you sure, Lil? Nicole's not the killer. Why not? Because we're her alibi. She knows what we did last spring break. I know. And vice versa. After the gang broke up at the airport, Lily and I decided to go back to school where we could have a romantic, yet inexpensive vegan dinner at the place where we first got to know each other. It was perfect. Until she showed up. Well, my, 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 isn't this a pretty picture? Flowers, candlelight, and a big bottle of booze. Nicole, what are you doing here? Well, like you, Lily, my spring break plans were dashed and I have nowhere to go, but unlike you, I didn't plan on spending my week being a liquored up little whore to an oversexed dumb jock. Nicole, just leave, okay? Well, no, that's tough talk for a boy who's about to be suspended yet again. First cough syrup, and now alcohol on school premises. 
What a pretty pickle you're in, pretty boy. Look, you're just jealous, Nicole. Really? Of what? That you can't have me. You've been trying to get revenge. You're right, Josh. I have been trying to get back at you for a year and a half. And now I will. Unless, tell you what, why don't I throw the two of you a little indecent proposal, hmm, young lovers? Josh, you kiss me right here, right now, and I'll leave taking your alcohol indiscretion with me. And if I don't? Well, then people will get suspended and they'll lose their scholarships. What'll it be, stud? Lily, feel free to watch. Proof yet again that no good ever comes from underage alcohol abuse. Do it, baby. It's not your mind or your soul. It's just your body. Nicole? I'd rather pull hair from the boys' locker room shower drain than never have to kiss your putrid mouth again. Well, I think that can be arranged. Yo, this only proves that Nick is the killer, okay? She is naturally vengeful. She knew what you two horn dogs were doing over spring break, and she easily could have taken that blackmail picture. Hey, Lil, why are we making out on the girls' bathroom tuffet? to lure the killer who in horror flicks always seems to become excited to the point of homicide when he witnesses a nubile teen virgin on the verge of sex cool What do you mean? I was just returning Lily's butcher knife I borrowed in home ec class. Likely story, sugar, grammar. Sit her down, we got some interrogating to do. Okay, well, if you're not the killer tuna breath, why'd you bust in here with a knife? It's just rubber. <laughs> I was looking for attention. You guys, if April's not the killer, then... Then the killer is still roaming the halls. Miss Glass, based on the body type, do you have any idea who the psycho might be? Not a clue. It's a tragedy, isn't it, kids? That if the fever doesn't kill you, chances are a killer will. <laughs> who are you? Late. My apologies. My travel agency screwed up my flight like you wouldn't believe, and the doors were all locked, so I had to come through a window. I'm Joni Salk, CDC. My name is Susie Klein. Never heard of her. Oh, I think you have, Mary Cherry. All of you took pictures and plotted my revenge. But what I realized as I stalked you was... What? Revenge isn't sweet. It leaves a sour taste. It solves nothing. What's going on in here? <gasps> ah! Ah! Who's this? Dr. Salk, this is patient zero, the one infected with Rift 